Yeah. When pigs fly, or should I say cows fly, that Donald J. Trump, our president, called my house. Yeah, all right, scammer. Nice try. Bye-bye. Tyler Oakley. News people make, make me sick. They would make news about anything. Bieber was on a bike ride with his fiance, and he started crying, so they took pictures and videotaped it, and was like, Oh my god, Bieber's crying, but we don't know why. But we're going to make this into a big news story, and put it on Inside Edition, and let everybody know that. When Bebo was on a bike ride, he started crying, his fiance was comforting him, and then she started crying, then they talked it out, and then went on their way on their bike ride. Really? You call that news? That was a private moment, he was upset about something, it was a private moment, and y'all had to fuck it up. And, to, uh, and you had to make it news. Was news slow that, that day, that you couldn't find something in that slot, so you had to talk about Bieber? Well, because Bieber's big news right now because of him getting married, that you just had to talk about something, and so you pick that. Like, it's like when, okay, there's this girl. She's missing. And they want to keep talking about it over and over and over, and they don't want to keep repeating themselves about her missing, so they show home videos of her. Why are you showing us home videos of her? It's not going to help find her. It's not going to help bring her back. It's just going to make the parents who watch it sad. So, I just don't understand how they can make that a new thing. No, give us updates on what you found out about her so far. If it's been three weeks, I'm sorry, not to be rude n or anything, but nobody cares about this girl. Nobody is, one, nobody cares about this girl. Nobody is being at home sad that she's gone because they don't know her. They're out there having fun, partying, having a good time, because they don't know this girl. So why shove all these home videos in our faces when we are just going to turn off the TV, flip the channel, not give two shits, because we don't know her. If you want help finding her, give us details of what she was wearing, what she was doing, what you think happened, updates, if you have any so that we can help you find her. And, I'm sorry, if it's been three weeks, usually that means, and you haven't found any updates, I'm sorry, usually that means they're dead. I'm sorry to be rude and mean like that, but that's probably what happened. And what they need to start doing is looking in the words, words in the waters, trying to see if there's any dead body around, or if anyone found a dead body, what a dead body might look like, things like that. And if she is lucky enough to be like these other girls that get kidnapped and disappear, and they live, then I'll be so happy when I hear the news that she's back home. But, until then, stop putting home videos down our throats trying to get us to like this girl so that we feel sorry and 
for her mistake of doing something by herself when she wasn't when she shouldn't have been and seeing like oh she's a good person she's a good person because if if you're trying to show all these home videos and trying to make her seem like she's this good wholesome person for the killer like not the killer for the kidnapper so the kidnapper can be like oh I feel so bad she was a good person <laughs> sorry people who kidnap don't think that way they don't watch TV to make to see if well they probably do watch TV to make sure that they're not totally get, getting close to his whereabouts if he still has her and they probably I don't know apart seeing these home videos not giving two shits apart laughing saying oh she's a wholesome beautiful girl that never does anything bad oh poor thing and make fun of that instead of going oh she's a good person I feel so bad no they're not gonna feel bad and if she's not alive he probably won't come forward and go oh I'm sorry I feel bad cuz I killed your daughter I kidnapped her and killed her it felt so good to do so that's the reason why I did it just because I wanted to and then I saw your home videos of her being so thoughtful and sweet and kid and loving kids and now I feel bad for killing her I'm sorry no the kidnapper is not going to do that. Slash killer. So, why do it anyways? All you got to do is flash a picture on there and say this is what she looks like. If you see her, call the tips hotline. That's all we can do. I mean, but I just can't believe they think people crying on a bike ride was news that us Bieber fans want to hear. Like, us Bieber fans are going to really go on to and go, Oh, you were on Inside Edition last night, and I was just wondering, why were you crying on a bike ride? We're just curious to wonder. No, fans are not going to do that. You know why? Because they see that as a, that's a private moment, and he doesn't have to tell us why he's sad unless he wants to. He's sad for a reason, they dealt with it for a reason, privately, they don't need you. And that's why Bieber has gotten fights with uh, paparazzis, because they don't know when to back off. And even now that he's being nice to the paparazzis, they don't get the clue to back off. They're even at his apartment building, and he's like, dude, 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 no, you can't be here, back off. Please let me have my private time. I'll give you time for your news, but this isn't the time. I'm just going up to my apartment. Do you really got to film that? Like, back off. I just want to come home and relax. He's human, too. Just because he sings and he's famous does not mean you have to bug him 24-7. Let him have his private time. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I will talk to y'all later. I'm Bunny and Bunny. Now leave me alone. Oh, and let me know in the comments down below what bothers you in the news that they give news about or talk to you about when who fucking cares? Like, who fucking cares about Harry and his and his wife and what she used to do and, and oh my god, she's wearing this dress. Oh my god, she actually exposed some lace, so let's expose her and and say she did that for attention. This is the dress she wore. Usually she wears these dresses that cost thousands of dollars but this one's only 500 who cares but if you want to talk about it down in the comments down below do so and I'll make another video and we can talk about it I will talk to you later bye bye